Greetings, Earthlings! It is I, James, and I have gotten my stuff back. And there's a creeper there. He would love to take my life, but I shall not allow it. We shall fly very swiftly to the nether portal. So, um, it's been a little bit since the last episode. And I just wanted to say... Thank you for all the kind messages on the last episode. It was very, very fun to record and very fun to see that you all appreciated it. Anyway, what are we going to be doing this episode? Well, as you saw in the beginning, I made a lava farm. And the reason I made said lava farm, if we can run faster down this tunnel, is because I am going to be building a volcano this episode. And I can totally understand, I can totally understand, if you were to ask, uh, James, why are you building a volcano? Isn't your theme aliens? It dawned upon me that my aliens need a reason to come to this planet. So I have decided that the aliens are here seeking a new power source for their star is dying and they need to revive it either that or they need to terraform this new land so they can come live here thus lava and uh, geothermal energy clean energy because we are advanced aliens who build with quartz and glowy uh, wood logs from space I am resisting the urge to do this in a time lapse because I need a little more footage than I currently have, and this needs to go out, hopefully, on Monday. What is going on? It was the, this one. I have collected a bunch of magma blocks. However, I lack some basalt. I think I left it over this way. Oh, yeah. The sheep farms and whatnot got moved over here because... Uh, can't have sheep living in the middle of lava, now can we? Ah, uh, yes, I left my basalt right here, and I think we'll add the campfires later. Right now, I just want to get this most of the way terraformed. I'm going to start by ripping up this grass. And uh, I guess we'll have to take a little detour to go talk with Chris. So, um, yeah, let's go do that real quick before we continue with this whole terraforming thing. So what's the problem? Uh, basically, the two portals I have in the nether, they both will link up to the spaceship. And no matter what I do, I can't get one to link down here and up there. Well, let me see. See, I have taken the coordinates I need in another. You do know that the Y coordinates matter as well, right? Do they? Yeah, if the Y coordinates of one portal 
uh, I think it's the sum of, like, it's the differences between all of them. 131, okay. The difference is, give me a second. Now we gotta pull the differences up. Okay. I'm just looking at you right now, and I'm just, I'm just imagining that math gif just all around you. Yeah. <laughs> Math, math, math. I'll throw that up on the screen. And then 32, 25. 32. The easiest way to do it would be to make one portal go up a little and make the other portal go down. Yeah, hold on. Let, let me get a flint. And a steel. Uh, where did I put it? Yep. I do not there go is. down the hole. Hmm. A platform made out of wood. What could yes. possibly go wrong? Couldn't, can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> okay. Hup. This will answer the big question. Is James good at math? Oh! For once, it did not link to the spaceship. That's... it's amazing. Yay! And... Okay. It worked. Yay! Now, does the other one still work, though? The other one should. St eh. 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 Oh, eh. Sorry. Eh. Yay! The other one should still work. I never knew the Y coordinate was actually a factor. It is a factor. I think for now, I'm just gonna move this portal up as high as I can, and then yeah. move that portal up as high as I can. Yeah, let me assist just you. To... Oh, okay. Many, many thanks, James. Many thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Now that we have solved Chris's problem, let's go ahead and start putting lava on the floor. Very dangerous. Ah! Quick, before it gets me. Ah! Scary. Lava is so scary. Well, it appears I'm going to be visiting this place a lot more than I originally thought. Uh, it's taking a lot of lava. So I figured out that coming to the nether and just grabbing it here is at the moment faster than using my lava farm. Which, you know, is a little disappointing, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Plus, we have enough buckets that a trip out here actually isn't that all much of a bother. The reason I made the farm in the first place was because I didn't have but like 16 buckets. And uh, since then, I have made a lot more. Hello, Mr. Guest. Please do not uh, kapui me. Kapawi? Yeah, I, I will shoot first. Hmm. Well, uh, you can despawn. That's fine. Feel free to despawn any day you want. I hear angry piglins, so uh, we'll cut back to me in the overworld. One, two, three, four, five shulker boxes. Well, four and a little bit of lava. Should finish this thing off. Now, we are going to be putting stone around the outside of this thing and uh, hopefully not burning I will go ahead and put on my anti burn burn shirt I am so thankful that I have this low fire resource pack because this would be a pain to do without it also things catch on fire five four three two and one and that should be the lava all done. I do realize there's a whole bunch of flowy lava, but I kind of like it. I like the flowing lava. Now for the stone. You know, there's something relaxing about just placing one block after the next. I did try out some basalt, but I wasn't particularly happy with the color of gray it was, at least right near the edge. I will transition it between uh, basalt, it'll go blackstone, basalt, and cobble. Here, let me show you real quick. See, and then we got stone. Ooh, 
I didn't think about Deep Slate. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of choices to be had here. Let's see. Basalt, Blackstone. Okay, so we're going to start with Blackstone, obviously. And then Basalt, that, Cobble, Stone? I think. I'm not sure which of these two is darker, though. Don't know if Deep Slate is darker or whether the basalt is darker. I think the basalt, no, the basalt has these really dark lines in it. What about sideways basalt? Ooh, that's a, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Whoop, placed that in the wrong spot. So which looks better? Okay, as a transition from cobble to deep, hmm, we could drop out the whole, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of doing deep slate, let's do basalt and then blackstone. Like straight from blackstone to basalt. Hmm. I don't know, that's a tough decision. I kinda like the extra step between deep slate and that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks smoother that way. Oh well, more blocks to be dealt with, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of grass. But anyway. Uh, we're going to call that it for this episode, and I will see you next episode. And next episode, we're going to be doing something a little interesting. I'm going to be doing something new. Anyway, that's all for now. See ya! Bye!